Oh, yes, yeah, so it's technically two books, or two issues of the same book. Uh, so you get Harley Quinn issue three and four. I never checked to see if there was a different artist on issue three, but uh, on issue Different four, artist on four. There's a different artist on four? Yeah, three is a, is it a Chad Harkin. For, oh, well, I don't know. I've, I've got the one for four written down, which is why I said I don't know if it's a different artist on three. Yeah, three is the one from the first few arcs. Uh, oh, it's uh, Chad Hark- Hardin and also John Timms. Yeah, well, it's, uh, jo- Joseph Michael uh, Lindsner is the uh, artist on issue four. Hmm, okay. So there you go. Take it away, Connor. Um, All right, so three, obviously, at the end of two, Ivy showed up. They they beat some zombies. It's cool. They have some banter. Uh, they, they joke about how Harley was... They, they promised they'll go to a trip to the Bahamas together. And Ivy says, how about in 10 weeks' time? And I'm pretty sure that's exactly when the issue that was solicited for their trip to the Bahamas comes out 10 weeks after that one. So, you know. But I don't think it was solicited at the time that this issue came out. So, you know, it was nice, I suppose, at the time. Now it's kind of meaningless. Um, that, uh, the, the red tool guy, you know, the guy who got his arm chopped off sure. and got catapulted to the, the hospital uh-huh. at the end of the... Yeah. I have vague memories of this, Jess. So he got someone else's hand put on. Someone else, you know, very typical. And he asks for the the story of the hand. Yeah. And um, turns out it belonged to a guy who was a a serial public masturbator. (laughs) He would go into uh, lingerie sections, creep and look over the, the, the dressing rooms. And, uh, I don't yeah. want to laugh at that. I don't want to laugh he, at he's that. He's like, oh my god, this is awful. Get this hand off me. Get it off me. And it's the not... doctor just screams at me. He goes, it's okay. He was a lefty, god damn it. He was a lefty. See, and Matt, it's fantastic. It's okay to laugh at it because the reason why it's funny is because it's the, that whole horror trope where you have the hand of a killer and they'll kill people. But, but it's, yeah. 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 So it's funny to think that, yeah, it's an amusing <laughs> idea. I'll give it that much. <laughs> I just like you just hand that hand like a bottle of chocolate milk that needs to be shaken up and keep it busy, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. The doctor's like, like it's all right. That, that's the right hand, and he was a lefty. You're fine. Oh, man. But that that really cracked me up. I'm not gonna lie, it was good. Yeah. That's probably the best stuff in the issue. The rest of it was Harley and the gang. They were going underground to try and get through all the zombie stuff and they got to like there's this secret tunnels and they get to a room and it's like oh they all connect to different places they've all got symbols on the doors as to where they go to you know and they're like oh we'll come back to this later so clearly that's going to come up again because that's what this book does so are they like the nightmare before christmas doors with, yeah like, sort of um... but they're not like not magical or anything they just lead to yeah. the place in the city but right. yeah, it's it's very similar. Like like this one goes to a theater, and it's got you know like the right. theater masks on it. Right. Okay. But there's one that's like big, massive, like padlocks and chains over it, and obviously she goes straight for that one. Uh, of course she does. Of course. Although well, to be fair, wouldn't you? Kinda. I mean, I'm also not a psychologist that's become a or a psychiatrist that's become a woman that just like a clown. So that is a fair point. But yeah, it it was pretty good. It was it was fun. And the next one, so that was the, the that was that arc. The zombies are dealt with, whatever. And then so the next one is the kind zombies of are dealt with, that. whatever. Yeah, it, it's kind of just like ah, they're dealt with. That's it. It is very much like that. It All right. doesn't. There's no plot reason really. It's just oh, okay, arc's done. It's kind of how this book's always been though. All right. What's this for about? I, th- I think I think it was about I think it was an alien entity was it was what caused it all. Something you know whatever. I but, remember uh, it. No, I remember it became a cow, and then yeah, yeah, through. yeah, and it kind of exploded, and they were like, okay, we're clear now. Job's done. But the, the next one is a, it's kind of a, a break before the next stuff starts, and she's re-promoting the you know that hot dog stand that started it all. She uh, yeah. she goes up to it and says, "Hey, I'll uh, I'll spread the word if you give me like six hot dogs a day. I'll walk around eating them and prove that they're fine." And he goes, "Sure, but you got to wear a hat as well that says the the stall name on it." She goes, "Only if you give me drinks and the chips as well, fries. Sorry." <laughs> and um, so she just basically spends the issue walking around eating those, 
but she goes on roller coasters and gets sick, so everyone still thinks they're infected. Because why not? Other than that, she goes, she flies to India and fights a big, massive mech suit thing, which has a little kid inside it. Just yeah, it does some really weird stuff. She goes to India where she fights a giant mech that's got a kid inside it. Yeah, that was a sentence that just came out of Connor's mouth, uh, Matt. Did that you is, that? Th- that is what it this was. issue was. Well, the second half of this issue was because <laughs> she's like, oh, I bet it's another alien inside it, and then this this kid in, like, just steps out. And he's and he she... a serial masturbator as well. No, no, <laughs> this is actually a child, and she spanks him. Well, it got kinky anyway. <laughs> yes, you're close, but. It's it's fun. It's it's still just more of the same, which obviously you guys hate it. So <laughs> I like don't it. hate it. It's just not my thing. Oh no, I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't speaking for you, Pete. Issue one was, for myself. Issue one, I could barely finish. I struggled through that. Like some of these ideas are actually kind of funny. I laughed at the serial masturbator thing, but the writing just makes it. There's there's another good like visual gag sort of thing in this one where um they're at, like. There's all these people, and it's like a call center, and they're all saying, we're calling to inform you that the IRS is filing a lawsuit against you. For for more information, call this number. And there's just like a hundred guys all doing this while the mech's still coming through and smashing it up. They're carrying on. And there's a shot where they're falling out the window uh, off this like skyscraper building, and uh, you just see them still still saying the lines on the phone as they're falling. It's amusing. Because it's like not played up as a joke; it's just kind of in the background of another panel, mm-hmm. so it works. But yeah, like I said, it's it's kind of more of the same. If you you don't like it, you're not gonna like this. 